Alrighty, guys, happy Sunday. As a matter of fact, happy uh, Palm Sunday. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, my mentor and my friend, Dr. Jewel, is on here. And Dr. Jewel, oh my gosh, history is in the making. It really is. Uh, it's uh, really exciting times. And um, every day, I'm just, uh, when I say extremely grateful, because um, I don't think we've ever seen another time like this in history. And it's going to help a lot of people and change a lot of people's lives. Wow. Wow. So tell us. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, guys. Let us know where you're joining us from. I'm telling you guys, this is something that some of us have prayed for. Um, some of us have believed for. Some of us have sold for. And um, some of you right now, you're at this place. Of course, we're going into Passion Week, Holy Week, and you're really crying out to God and say, Father, what is it that I know there's more to my life? Um, I'm seeing money coming in, but for some reason, there's like more bills than there is money, right? What am I supposed to do? What am I not doing right? And I believe that today that God has just opened up this opportunity for all of us. And so, um, Dr. Jewel, tell us uh, what's going on right now. And I know that we're talking about financial education, but something has happened in your life. And many times when you're on the uh, opportunities never come wrapped up as a with a bow saying, I'm the opportunity. You prayed for me. Now, here I am. Something has happened here in your life. There's been a shift in your life. And I want you to just share with the audience. Yeah, absolutely. So, again, thanks uh, so much, um, Angela, for having me on here. And, you know, really proud of all the work that you and Paul are doing and you know, really just wanted to make impact and really empower people and really set them up for real success. So, um, you know, I think uh, probably about a year ago, I was sensing that there was going to be a tremendous shift. I've been heavy in the cryptocurrency uh, for the last seven years. And I'm very grateful because uh, by the grace of God, I was blessed to make multiple millions of dollars. Um, and then 2016 and 17, I started buying up a lot of real estate. Literally every week I was buying property in the city of Detroit, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, you know, $50,000 properties, fixing them up and putting tenants in it, you know, and I was able to do that because I had, uh, you know, a real estate mentor that would call and say, hey, I think you need to grab this property over on Seven Mile or, hey, I think you need to grab this property on the east side. And I literally only saw one property before I found it. And, you know, this is why you and I both feel this way, that I have a lot of respect for mentors because your destiny will move at the speed of your relationship. And I've always definitely been a person that's like, hey, you know, I'm going to, I love everybody, but if I'm going to follow you, then I got to make sure that you have real results in your life that really speak to what I want to become. Uh, right before this, I was listening and, and doing some studying um, with real estate and uh, they were saying how Grant Cadone has $4 billion worth of debt and 12,000 units, mostly made up of multiple family homes. And so <clears throat> there's something to be said about hard assets. So anyway, Last year, I, I made a big uh, shift and change. I, I sensed that it was time and I did. It wasn't easy, but I'm glad that I did um, because sometimes God has us uncomfortable because he's trying to get us somewhere else because if we don't get uncomfortable, then we'll just sit there, you know? That, that, part. <laughs> that part. That part. You just sit there and dry up. <laughs> like, what in the world? And dry so, up and we're still waiting on the raven. Like, when okay. you going to bring my meal? Raven's like, listen, ain't nothing to bring over here. <laughs> yeah, right. It's really not. And so anyway, um, <clears throat> the end of last year, a friend of mine who was mutual friends with um, a gentleman that I'm very good friends with, uh, Ben and I and his wife and us became very close in 2007, 2010. We made a couple million dollars together. And uh, he called. He had went on to open up uh, a company by the name of Tava. They had six main nutritional products that were very effective. People were feeling good and, and losing weight. And so I initially, I thought they were reaching out to me just to do that. And he said, no, I want to partner with you on the financial educational part. And um, I was like, OK, you know. And um, let me think about it. And so I kind of thought about it and we talked back and forth a little bit, <clears throat> you know, about financial education and some of the things that I was investing in, like, you know, I was just getting ready to go back heavy into not just getting single families. I'm, I'm glad I started with single families, right? Uh, because it's not just getting the property, it's the managing of the property where you really kind of get your, your feet wet. And honestly, had I not had a mentor, I would have probably 
I maybe bought one, but it was very scary for me. Um, but because of that mentorship, I knew I could call and say, okay, how do I handle this with property taxes? Or, hey, I found out there was a lien here. Or, hey, you know, the basement has mold in it. Who can I get to do that? And so anyway, I started telling him, like, I would love to be able to help people with educating them in the real estate, uh, which is I'm going back in heavy now with multiple families. And, uh, you know, he said, you know, yeah, why don't we do credit? Why don't we do funding? Uh, because most people, and particularly people of color, don't know really the proper use of debt. They don't have access to the same capital um, that our counterparts do. And then if they do have access to the capital, sometimes it's mismanaged just because they simply don't know. And so we said we wanted to do credit. We wanted to do funding. We wanted to show them how to set up a trust, a family trust, a business trust, a private family foundation, a charitable, you know, um, foundational trust, um, you know, how to, you know, reduce their tax liability, um, how to set up the systems to be able to scale. Because uh, you might remember when I, I shared the story, Angela, when I first got into real estate, even though I was buying all these properties, it was organized chaos. You know, I was using Mr. Orange to. Orange, Mr. Orange. You know, he was he was going to Keisha's house. Keisha, come on out here. Your rent due. You know, she come to the you know door with a baby on her hip and a baby on her leg. She owes a thousand dollars to my real estate company, but she says, I just got $400. You got to work with me, Mr. Orange. And, you know, he's empathetic and he takes the $400 and he calls me and he goes, yeah, you just got 400. She still owes you another 600. And so the whole system was just very, very organized. I was blessed and um, I knew it was time to scale. So I ended up getting another property management company. I got another accounting firm that could handle everything that was happening. So we're going to end this um, you know, on this financial educational platform called Taliverse, we're going to educate people on every part of being an investor because it's definitely way more than just getting the property or opening up the venture or opening up the business. Um, there are a lot of different things in between that if you don't have support, a lot of times you say mom and pop by default. That's it. You know, and the thing about it, um, Dr. Jewel, is so many times a lot of people feel that they can't own properties, Right. And and then let alone or somebody may say, well, you know what, we're going to start flipping properties and you go and you look, but you don't know which is the right property. What do I do once I get the property? Right. And then before you know it, the property sits there. Money is due and you can't figure it all out. And so this is where the mentorship really comes in, you know, being able to have that financial um, uh, uh, um, access along yeah. with the mentorship and really having someone like yourself and some of the other uh, uh, team members that are part of this to really just help us to um, hold your our hands. Tanya said, just what I need, education is key. And, you know, so so that's it. It's the education and really yeah. that financial education. You talked earlier about like a Grant Cardone and you talk about debt. And so many people have been taught, you know, well, don't you borrow money? Talk about that good debt versus bad debt for us. And I know you're friends with the Kiyosakis. And so let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, and that's a conversation we're going to have a, a lot about because if you grew up in a traditional home or you grew up under mentorship, uh, like a Dave Ramsey, who I have a lot of respect for what Dave has been able to do in the community financially, uh, but you're get out of debt, get out of debt, get out of debt, get out of debt, bad debt, bad debt, you know? And so you never think about debt to build wealth, which is what wealthy people do. They use debt to build wealth. And then they get their business credit good and they get loans from, you know, um, you, know you know, from that. So I think that, um, you know, it's, it's really important to um, come into a space where other people are making tons of money and can show you how the proper use of debt can be used. Debt can be a very good thing. And most people... Uh, that become wealthy. They didn't become wealthy because they were able to, you know, create a bunch of capital. They learned to, hey, let me get my business credit together so that I can go. And what we're doing, Angela, is we're helping people, you know, get their business, you know, um, credit together, you know, so that they can go out and get a loan. Right. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, it's, it's definitely important um, to learn the proper use of debt and don't be afraid to use it. And one thing's about one thing about it, the banks absolutely love to give you money because it's how they make money, right? That's how they make money. So if they see 
that you can be trusted. You paid the mortgage on time for six months. You know, you can go back and say, hey, you gave me 800,000 now. I need another million. I want to buy a bigger apartment building and they're ready to do it. And so it's about establishing the relationships with the bank, financial integrity, paying the banks on time. And now you can really start to build your, your empire. So, so for those that may be on this call, of course, we got people from all over that are actually watching this on just about every platform and they're trying to figure out, well, I don't even know that this is something that I can do. You know, I don't have a lot of money. Um, talk to us a little bit about that. You know, how would this program with the financial education really help them from where they are to where they're supposed to be? Yeah. So um, we're going to hold your hand. And I think that's the big thing, because if you really want to build a real, you know, investment portfolio empire, it's going to be more than a two day conference. Mm -hmm. Two day conferences are great. I love conferences. I put on conferences. But if you're really serious about building wealth, it is definitely going to take some hand holding. Mm -hmm. It's going to take some hand holding. Um, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're a family. Um, we're just getting started. You know what I mean? Just just getting started. So you have an opportunity to come in you know, and make history with us and start at the beginning and really create those, you know, connective tissues and those relationships. We have a lot of realtors that we've attracted. We have a lot of real estate brokers that we've attracted, banks um, that are coming aboard and saying, hey, you know, we want to give your community money. And um, so it's exciting. And then we're going to be doing real live meetings on the ground, going to look at properties, you know, walking through with the property managers, talking to the city officials to see where gentrification is happening, talking to property management companies. I'm literally going to be in Detroit um, this week going and looking at properties, uh, at least two or the three days that I'm there, uh, properties that I'm actually buying. And then I'm looking at some properties that will be available for a lot of our investors that have joined the Tyververse community. Wow. Can you tell us about this one strategy that you're working on with one of your properties instead of just having the entire property um, just be broken down into, say, um, rental? I think you're doing something creative with it, Dr. J. What is that? You know? Yeah. So I learned this actually from our real estate uh, <laughs> educator. You know what I mean? Um, and he said, listen, don't just do traditional. First of all, the property, the apartment building, they found it for me um, and they recommended it you know, um, for me. And um, actually, I'm in the process of working on a real estate thing right now. Somebody's texting like, hey, you want this deal? deal. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, so I, I went and I looked at it. Um, you know, I looked at it and I said, okay, I tell you what I'm going to do. Um, let me think about it. And he goes, no, you don't need to think about this too long. Um, you know, <laughs> What you need to do really is you need okay. to um, grab this now and let me tell you why. And I said, okay, all right, what would you do? And uh, anyway, he went on to say, I would do, you know, three properties at, you know, section eight and then, at, you know, the other three properties as, you know, maybe, um, you know, do short-term rental. Not Airbnb, but short-term rental. Because with Airbnb, their licensing fees have become so crazy that it doesn't make sense. And um, and I put, you know, I was in touch with a property management company. You know what I mean? A property management company. Um, then that way they're going to get all the, first of all, the tenants are already in there. Come so on. I can decide to keep all the tenants in there. I can raise the rent. and Or I can say, you know, four at $4,500 a month. And the other four, I will keep right about 15 or 1600. Because if you do a short term rental, you can actually multiply by four to charge it because there are a lot of traveling nurses and traveling doctors that will pay $4,500 for that month. Their companies um, as they're, you know, traveling and, and our property management company is brilliant because they have a list of them just waiting. That's so true. this property is going to immediately cash flow. Hmm. I won't have any um, out of pocket, you know, expenses at all. You know what I mean? Period. And so anyway, um, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is, these are the kinds of things that you're going to learn. We're also taking the basement and gutting it completely. Come on. Come on. Completely. Come on. And making it a laundry mat. So that's going to be additional income. More income. Coming in. Yeah. That's more income coming in. That is brilliant. 
That is brilliant. Yeah. So you guys, again, this is what this community is, is all about. You know, it's about you learning how to become a savvy investors, a, a savvy investor, learning how to become a savvy investor. Uh, what's that number you deal with uh, from the wealthy standpoint, Dr. Jewel? What's that number? What's that sweet spot when they say, you know what? I think I've done my share. Now I could refire. What does that number look like? Um, I mean, ideally, I think most of the wealthy are looking at retiring with at least 10 million. <laughs> All right. Hey, yeah. I mean, because, because, because I want people to be able to go out and travel that part of their life. All of that. Come you on. know what I mean? I want them to go be able to do their thing um, and and upgrade their house. Uh, it's so crazy because I was just talking to some people who retired recently in their house. It needs a whole overhaul. It needs a new roof. It needs new floors, new counters, new furniture. Um, you know, grandchildren need to be put in private schools. You know, they're home every day watching the news. Quality is not there. Um, and it costs money to um, live a quality of life. I want them to be able to shop it at Whole Foods if they want. Come on. You know? Come so, on. yeah. So we have the opportunity. We have the opportunity, guys, to be able to do that here. So whether you are, wherever you find yourself, this is a platform for you. And again, there's a benefit of being an early adopter. You know, there's certain things, and I think Valerie was the one who shared this earlier. You are who you are connected to. She said, and I'm, a, I'm connected to great people. So it's all about a community. The community... Um, uh, that, that this platform offers is so important because it's going to help you. Your hands, Tanya said 10 million, I need that blueprint. Correct me if that, that's it. You're going to get the blueprint right here. And so education is very important. And I, I sense right now, now more than ever, that there's a sharpening that is taking place, that we have to be able to understand the importance of investing in our personal development. You know, some folks, by the time they hit 50, it's like they stop learning, they stop living, they just, it's just can't wait now for me to retire. And then that's it, right? And retire means just that you are tired. So you retire, <laughs> right? So we got to be able to understand the importance of having vision and having vision for wealth, having vision for generational wealth, being able to do something bigger than yourself to leave. The Bible says that a good man leaves an inheritance for his what? For his children's children. And so land is very important in the kingdom. And so I'm excited, Dr. Jewel, about this platform. I'm just so truly, truly excited. And I just feel honored to even be a part of it and that you would even consider me to be a part of it and our Kingdom Chamber of Commerce family to be a part of it and those that are going to actually be up that I invited to be on tonight. So I'm excited. So if someone wanted to get involved, what's the next step? Hey, Mercedes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Tanya. Um, so the next step would be they reach out to you. They need to send a message to you and um, you can send them. Have you gotten your email yet? I did, but we have a link, Blama. If you could go ahead, Blama yeah. or Haley, to go ahead and just post the link so you guys can go in and and and, and go ahead and, and add that link in it. If you know someone, guys, if you're at that place where you're like, listen, I'm interested or, or tell us, Dr. Jewel, give us the ideal uh, give paint a picture of the ideal person for this platform. I mean, honestly, you know, um, I'm excited because we just helped um, someone who probably makes about 30,000 a year um, get an American Express card and they're buying a house that we found for them for 55,000 and putting in a tenant in with the property manager that we're using. And now she's going to cash for 1,050 every single month. So it's, I don't need people to make a lot of money. Um, I need people to just desire to make a lot of money and I need them to be open and teachable really. And just to want more. I think it's really for the person who says, I want more mm -hmm. um, out of life. I don't know how to do these things. I don't know how to, or maybe you're watching, you're like, no, I actually have a couple of investment properties, but they've been draining me, you know? And so let's look at that blueprint. Why are they draining you? Is your rent high enough? Um, are you doing all the work? Is it time to scale? Bring on a property manager or like me, I had a property manager, but I needed to scale and get like a one that could operate at a, at a greater level of efficiency from technology and, um, you know, then actually do books for my profit and loss statements every month that I could give over to my accountant, 
because if you don't have the right property manager, they're not doing any books. They're not looking at your expenses. They're not looking at your income. Or is, you know, are you having to every time the property management company needs to do something, you got to send them the money, get them an American Express card. We'll help you do that. Put a limit on it. Tell them what they can use it for and what they can't. Give it to your contractor. I mean, there's always a more excellent way. I'm Angela, and I've just found as long as I'm teachable, That's then it. I'm going to learn it and I'm going to apply it. And then my life is going to get better. I'm going to become richer and I'll be more at peace and uh, I'll have more and have less work. So that I think that anybody part. that wants that, that's uh, it. Be here with us at Tyron that's, it. that's it. I don't care what anybody says. Money does solve some problems. Okay. That part, that part, that part, and that freedom that you have, my goodness, to be mm. able to do the things that you desire to do within the time frame that you're here on planet Earth. I'm telling you, living mm. your best life. And so I want to give you that opportunity, guys, to be able to be a part of the, my team, be a part of our team. And I want you to be able to go ahead and just complete that link. And that's for a dis booking a discovery call. So go ahead and book that link. Click on that link and I'll be reaching out to you immediately. And my team will be ready to reach out to you as well. And we're about to just make history, guys. This is really it. See, many times when you're at the groundbreaking uh, uh, when 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 you're at the groundbreaking of something mega, you know, a libel, let me just see. But, you know, it, it's the early adopters, Dr. Jewel, that are able to jump in and uh, come on, come on. The early adopters. Yeah. I mean, early adoption really does have early benefits. Um, and what we have happening right now, I've felt this before. I've sensed it. I can taste it. And we are on for huge transfers and transactions. And for people that come aboard with us, um, they'll really be able to say that this was a significant year that really changed everything. I mean, one good year of significant increase can really, for real, change everything. And timing really does matter. Um, if you have the opportunity. I mean, we don't always have the opportunity, right? Nobody called me and told me when Apple was launching it, at, at, when they first launched the two. So I didn't get the opportunity. Um, you know, when uh, Microsoft first launched with Bill Gates, nobody called me and said, hey, you know, you got an opportunity to invest in something that's going to be technologically revolutional, right? But now someone called and said, hey, we want you to partner. You have an opportunity. opportunity. Hmm. Okay. And uh, I could have said no because I had really met, um, I still wanted to have, I wanted a lot more, but I met some of my bigger financial goals um, where living off the ROI is concerned, uh, but I'm not a stupid woman. There's always more. And so <laughs> after I thought about it, it's like, girl, you don't even think no more, child. That's it. That's yeah. it. Don't try yeah. to overanalyze it. You done fast already, right, Auntie? Auntie Jay's on. Hey, Auntie. Hey, Auntie. You done fast already. You done pray already. Come on here, somebody. It's time now. You know, just answer the call. Because the reality is, if I would have said no, he would have partnered with somebody else. That's it. That's and it. all the people that were attached to them would be benefiting. But you said so no. I, th I think we have to be very careful what we say no to. Ooh, Paul says that all the time. Yeah. Be careful what you said no to. And especially in the season, Tina Marie, especially in the season, Katie Armstrong, be careful, Ruth. Be careful what you say no to in the season. And now guess what? We're ready in the second quarter. So we have the ability, guys, to be able to create the 2023, the life of your dreams by just not missing out on this opportunity. Go ahead and click on that form. And we look forward to uh, having you be a part of this amazing academy. Dr. J, any final words? Um, I'm excited to work with you guys. It's going to be great. Um... Let's grow significant well together. I wouldn't overanalyze. I wouldn't rethink. I would uh, act. There's nothing like making a quality decision that can change your life. So I think that this is definitely that decision that can change everything. So Angela, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm excited working with all of our new partners. Yay. Yes, I'm excited too. Real quickly, Dr. J, talk about the credit because they have the ability with the personal credit. Talk about that real quickly. Yeah, I mean, we're going to walk you through and do a credit analysis for free and see where you are personally and then see where you are in your business. And then we can help you to assess, um, you know, if you need to go further and pay to have your credit, you know, 
correct it. Um, and so, but that initial is free to just analyze because what we want to do is make sure that your business credit is in line. I was just able to secure um, a large loan for an apartment building with one of the banks that we're using. And it's because my business credit. So they looked at my business credit to say, hey, let's make sure you're good. And we didn't need any adjustments to be made, thankfully. And so um, right after that, I was like, okay, bet. Now that that business credit has been together, let's go ahead and apply. I applied and in three hours, you know, I had almost a million dollars. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. That part, that part. So, guys, again, you know, you heard it here first. <laughs> you heard yeah. it here, history in the making. Next year, this time, guys, we're going to be watching folks just share and listening, sharing their testimony. This is what I did. I jumped in even when I could not figure it all out. And yeah. now look at me, look at my generation. Listen, there are three types of people. Those that watch things happen, <laughs> those that wonder what happened, and there are those of us that are making things happen. And so you want to join, you want to jump on the make it happen um, plane, right? <laughs> make it happen. Just jump on in, come with us, be a part of this, really change the trajectory, the financial trajectory of your family. Uh, it's time for you to be able to change that, uh, the, the finances for your generation, guys. I'm telling you, you go from just being somebody that maybe have never invested in real estate to now being known as a real estate, a mega real estate investor, a savvy investor, guys, that you're not making a lot of mistakes. And the reason for that is because you have mentorship. You know, Dr. Jewel really did not have to share this, you know, and that's why I was so excited when you decided that you're going to get other people involved and you're going to share your experience because what you're doing is actually saving me and saving a lot of us from making a lot of mistakes, learning um, from your mistakes, and then now just also getting that endorsement and just riding it with you. So I'm fully excited. I'm so excited and I can't wait. Those of you that are on here, go ahead, jump in and jump in now. And we look forward to seeing you at the top. As a matter of fact, tomorrow night, you'll also be a part of uh, in every night this week, right? Every night this week. Um, leading up every night, you know, you'll have an opportunity also to be a part of a bigger group as well. And so I'll be sending out uh, that information for you to be a part of that. But come on, guys, let's go. It's time for you to stop living, you know, at a place where you know that there's more to your life than where you find yourself, right? Things not adding up, you know, it's time for you. All it takes is one decision and you go ahead and you make that decision today. So Dr. J, yes, uh, Reverend Bayo, all the way from Lagos, Nigeria is saying, Chassie, that's it. This is Holy Ghost driven, Reverend Bayo, Holy Ghost driven to God be the glory. And so I'm so excited about that. Dr. Jewel, thank you so much. I thank God for your life. I thank God that you thought about me. Um, and so connection, guys, community is everything. Doors, there are doors that God, this is the year at the chamber for supernatural open doors. And so we're grateful and thankful to the Lord for doors that are opening for us that absolutely no man can shut. Even Aruba's on. See, I'm telling you, I know Aruba wants to be a part of it. Come on here, somebody. So guys, I'm telling you, this is it. Go ahead and share this feed. And we thank God for you. We'll be in touch with you. Dr. Jewel, we thank God for you. And bye-bye. Thank, um, thank, thank you so you. much. We'll see you bye guys. Bye. God bless you. Act now. Final words, Dr. Jewel. Final words. Final words, I would say to act really what you said to to make the decision and act i think um sometimes we can create patterns of um where we almost become like these professional procrastinators or we count ourselves out or maybe that's not for me maybe that's for them you know or maybe later not now i think that one of the things that by god's grace that he's perfected in me is i take action pretty quick when i get that witness in my heart even if I don't understand everything, I will learn, don't sit there and keep going back and forth. And even where this opportunity was current concern, I remember calling my aunt and telling her, I was like, yeah, they asked, we'll see, you know, let me pray. Mm -hmm. And it was like, then they call back again. Then they call like, girl. And then it was just like, I know it's Holy Spirit just opening up my eyes like, bruh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. And I remember having conversations with you and you're like, I got to tell you something. Mm. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Which means that you're still, you know, you're still working on it. Yeah, still working. <laughs> I'm still chewing. But I also got to that point where it's like, don't do what, like, you know, sometimes you can know something, but 
you still not doing it. Like, I know don't be a no person, but I was kind of that way. Like, you haven't even really heard the conclusion of the whole matter. And then once I heard it, like, why are you not really jumping? But honestly, when you pull back the cover, I was really contemplating if I wanted the responsibility. Um, but the blessing always comes with the responsibility. That's it. That's right? It. Increase always comes with the responsibility. That's so it. I could have said, I don't, I don't want it because I don't want the responsibility, but then I wouldn't have been able to experience the increase. And so I think it's dangerous for us to any time, you know, contemplate if we want, it's like I've heard people say, I don't want the mansion because I don't want to keep it clean. I'm like, well, get a house. I'll take the mansion. I'll take yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Get a housekeeper. But, you know, all of our minds have to be renewed. And I had to allow Holy Spirit to renew my mind where that was concerned because there was a bit of a block. Um, and then he did what he did best. And he started, you know, talking to me and confirming some things. And I was like, girl, you better quit tripping. <laughs> but now look at this, Dr. Jewel. You're changing. You're going to affect the life of millions. OK, yeah. millions, millions. And for us to be at the ground floor of this amazing opportunity like that, it just sends shivers down yeah. my entire body. Like what a responsibility. Think about it. You know, when you look at the disparity, even in terms of the numbers for African-American families, it actually owns real estate, right? And what you're doing, Harriet, is you're saying, come with me and we're going to take back the land. Come yeah. on here, somebody. Yeah. Hey, yeah. that yeah. part. No, it's, it's, it really is. My daughter asked me earlier in Brooklyn, she goes, mom, how do you feel? I said, I'm excited. Um, but I think I'm one of those people that I just obsess with the results and the work. So I haven't really stopped and I'm very grateful, but I haven't really stopped to quote unquote say, I'm going to celebrate. I think I will at some point, but right now I'm just really sober and just um, wanting to, you know, we have banks calling um, just, I'm just in the trenches right now. And so I'm grateful and just hopefully people here, um, like I heard, like, child, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I mean, Apostle just now, Apostle Vanessa, uh, kingdom greetings to you, Apostle. She said, listen, send me the link, put the information. Let's yeah, go. Man. And I know they're working at this. So they have a mega church uh, in her area and they're getting ready to work on a mega project. So I know that she's going to take this, bring it to her congregation. Come yeah. on here, somebody. Because again, especially for leaders, help your people, please. Yeah. I beg you, help your people. I mean, things are going to get darker out there. So we have to be able to make sure that we're positioned. And so opportunities like this positions us. Come on, come yeah. on. So we could release ourselves from Pharaoh and now walk into the promised land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's, That's what I'm excited That's about. It. That's it. Yeah. And I commend her being an apostle in her church and saying, we actually have quite a few people um, in our church that are signing up. I haven't really, you know, talked to them, but, you know, uh, Camille's going crazy and Marquita are going crazy. And so people are here and I just saw another one of our spiritual children enter into the top of verse chat. So I'm just excited. And I'm like, Lord, keep helping us, keep strengthening us, keep ordering our steps and help us to go at the pace that you have, because this is a pretty fast pace right now. Um, and so help us to get in there. I'm equipped for it. I'm energetic. I'm excited and uh, ready to take as many as people as we can with us because um, definitely we're in to, in to see some major, um, I think, rough economic days ahead. But those that are positioned, you know, it's like Joseph, he had those years to prepare and he did. So when the famine really hit, he was already positioned. Real estate is already down. Interest rates are already down, even though I don't let that be a market indicator where real estate is concerned because it's going to go up, period, like period. It has for the last, you know, thousands of years since they started building houses. It's just going to go up. It just so happens that we're at a great time because real estate is down. And then last week, the Fed's lower interest rates. So and we got banks that are ready to approve for people of color. Um, I couldn't believe I, that was the fastest loan approval I'd ever had, three hours. And of course, we're working closely with the banks. And I know people in our community are going to have that favor. But it was just still exciting to. I was blown That's away when I saw it. I mean, I was just like, I gave a, a holy dance. I was like, hallelujah, because if it happened for you, it's going to happen for me. It's yeah. just a matter of time. And then, I, and then I sent it over to our real estate educator, you know, Phil, who's brilliant. And he goes, this is great, but go back, ask for interest only. See? Nobody does a 30-year fix on an investment property. See? 
So you need to lower your mortgage payment so you increase your cash flow. I sent back to the bank. I said, this is what he said. They said, it, the new numbers are coming your way. Hey, it's see, mentorship. It's all mentorship that everyone's going to have access to now. And the wealthy surrounds themselves with that. And that's why they could do the type of play that they're able to do and take on the type of deals that they're able to take on. I'm telling you guys, listen, don't let this slip you by. You know, we stopped by today. And I believe that this is a wake up call for all of us as we're going into this holy week. Come on now today for Palm Sunday. I mean, I mean, it's a triumphant a triumphant entry. And I think it's not just what you just read in the word, but it's just, I'm telling you the confirmation of what the King has for you, which is unexplainable wealth, but you're going to have to do the things you need to do in order to get positioned. And so we love you dearly, Dr. J. I'm thankful to God for you and um, praise Thank God. You. We will see you at the top to God be the glory. Love yeah. you. Love you. Love you much. And love all you. Of you are on here guys. Thank you guys so much for being on. And um, go ahead, share this, share, share, share. And um, and Blama, I want you to jump on real quickly. Uh, I want you guys to um, to just go ahead, guys, and just share, share, share. Blama, talk to me. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, this is amazing. <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like this. I mean, those turnaround times as far as being approved by banks. I mean, this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. This is what you hear about. You hear about Warren Buffett and some of these other big time investors, they say, hey, you mm -hmm. know, you want to make sure that you have the cash flow, you want to have the counsel, you want to have the team around you, because these opportunities only come once in a lifetime. When everybody's running, you should be positioning yourself, as, as Dr. Jewel said, it's That's all it. about positioning right That's now. That's it. That's it. That's it. When everybody is running, that's it. We're being positioned. That's it. Opportunity, 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 yeah. opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. And then that's the word right there in the midst of crisis. You know, my papa always says yeah. opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. Yeah. And so to God be the glory, Obama, I just feel there's something with this. And I, I told you yeah. uh, there, there's something that I'm sensing. I can't necessarily articulate it. But there's something here, something big and something mega, you know, like what Dr. Jewel said, you know, when when Amazon was getting started. Right. Yeah. Um, if you got called. I mean, think about where, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Oh, you yeah. know, Apple got started. I mean, yeah. come on. And so we have to be able to look at opportunities like this. There's a knowing that we should all have with, with, within us. And so you already know when the Holy Spirit opportunities, like, like I believe that those that are on here, Blama, are really those that have been seeking, have been mm. praying, and those that are yeah. kingdom financiers. Because when God blesses you with wealth, it's not only wealth for you, but it's wealth for you to advance the kingdom of God, right? That's right. And then when it comes to land, you know, land comes from the king, land, gold, silver. If there's mm -hmm. ever any three areas right now for us to be focused on, or oh, these yeah. area, land, and you know, yes. I did a whole land. teaching on land for the yep. kingdom, right? Powerful. Very important. Powerful. If we want to change culture, guys, it comes with land, 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 land. <laughs> you want to change your land, 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 land ownership is everything. And it's That's not just having that one property, Blama. You know, many of yes. us, all I need is one house. No, come on here. <laughs> Go beyond you. You understand? Well, and, and just about investment. So it's a mentality right now. You're, if you notice, if you follow like the CEO of BlackRock and some of these big time investors in the marketplace, what are they doing? They're buying land. They're buying farmland. They're buying land for development. For there's so many reasons why there's so many indicators, as Dr. Drew was sharing. She's dropped so many jewels. You know, like she, there are so many trends. Like you, you have to go when there's a trend that's about to take take place, you got to make sure you're at the forefront of it. You don't want to wait till you hear it in the news. This is one of those moments where it's like, okay, look, there's a tip going out right now. Hey, you know, you get the revelation this last year about the, getting land. And then you start seeing indicators, you start seeing those market movers starting to position themselves. And now we get an opportunity in a disruptive fashion to create generational wealth. Like, come on, this I is mean, a no brainer. I'm telling you, Blama, on this platform right here, I know that you will have 18 year old and 19 year old owning homes, right? Mm -hmm. Normally we'd be like, oh yeah, when I'm 40 or when I'm 30 or when I'm whatever, guys, all of that is about to change. And many of you that may be living in apartments right now that you will be the owner of, Hey, you heard me. You'll be the owner of the complex that you're living in. It's time for us to start thinking about ownership. 
in the yeah. kingdom, ownership, the ownership, kingdom. ownership. And now where you have OPM, other people's money working mm. for you. Come on. Right? And then you have ROI, which means that you're now living off the return of your investment. Come on. There's a better way to do it. There's a smarter way to do it. But this is where mentorship mm. comes in. There is a yes. better way. And how do you now tap yes. into it? What you need to do is just fill out that uh, that 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 link, click mm. on it, put your information yes. in there, and we're going to welcome you into a community, guys. It's going to change the way how you do business, change the way how you do life, even from that, you know, just the credit standpoint, understanding. And, and one of the things that Dr. Jules said, mm. um, Mama, she said, many times people count themselves out. Yes. That's and right. it's so easy because you'll look up and say, well, I don't think I have the money. Stop thinking that where you're a child of the king. Bob would say, I without that's money. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. You just hit it. That's it. That, that's it. You that is it? it. Yes. All you need to do is just show up. Get out the form. Just Stop trying to figure up. it out. Just yes. show up. That's it. Just raise your hand. Say yes. Up. And just show yes. up. Just show up. Don't sit down. It, don't lose sleep over it. it. Angela, this, this is so important what you just said there, because there's a difference between riches and wealth. And, and so yeah. when you people are chasing riches and mm -hmm. so it's, it's getting away from them. Wealth is a mindset. And so you need to get a mindset where you're investing in yourself. That's the first investment you take. Mm -hmm. And then you build those the right counsel. And that's what this, this platform gives you the opportunity to do. Then you get the strategies. And then you get the leverage, you get the systems. You can work smarter, not harder. This is the game that the 1% has been playing for generations. And that's they don't it. use their own money. And they don't it. use their own money. And that's it. And then another thing they don't do many times, they don't share, Suzanne. They don't share, right? But now here you are, God has anointed a woman and anointed a man that have come together and say, hey, we're going to share this. We're going to bring the community oh. together. Here is the vision. And guess what? The vision has been attracting, Blama, provision. The best Amen. of the best are coming in. There's That's a it. woman who actually owns a bank. I mean, funding is coming Amen. in. The ability to help you with your credit. They'd be able to help you in terms of systems. They'd be able to Come help on. you in terms of marketing. They'd be able to, and what we do is help you in terms Come of on. business. You see what I'm saying? So everything yeah. that you need, God is pointing it in your direction. All you need to do is open your eyes and just take it and position yourself. So Blama, I'm so excited. Guys, Amen. I'm telling you today's the dawning of a brand new day. A new day is dawning. A new day is dawning. And it's time for your triumphant. I'm telling you guys, it's time. Destiny is crying out. Destiny is calling out. Go ahead and book your call, guys, and be a part of this. Don't try to figure it out. Don't go talk to Sue and to Jane and to Peter. They ain't own no real estate property. They <laughs> That's it. it in any real estate property. Come on. I want Come you on. to be able to just trust. And sometimes you just got to move from that place of trust. And so you have the opportunity to talk to folks who have been doing it. Dr. Jewel, yeah. she's a mega, I'm telling you, real estate oh investor. Goodness. Okay. So you have the oh ability, guys, I'm telling you. And realtors, those realtors that are on, those realtors that are out there, please connect yes. with me. This yes. right here is mega, mega, yes. mega mega, mega for you in yes, whatever yes. area you find yourself, just go ahead yes. and reach out to me. This is going to be big. We're helping God's people to do what? Come on. Take back land. To Amen. take back yeah. land. Land that has been stolen from us. And Suzanne says she signed up already. Land Amen. that has okay. been stolen from us, Apostle Vanessa. Land that has been stolen from our ancestor, ancestors. It's time now for us to take back the land. And so to God be the glory. I love you, Blama. Any final words? Sign up. Why wait? I mean, this is the time. Let's change the narrative. Let's create a movement and let's create generational wealth and let's advance the kingdom. Awesome. Awesome, guys. And financial freedom, Blama, so we can mm -hmm. manifest especially That's those right. of us that are called to advance the kingdom of God, those of us that have been called as kingdom financiers. It is time for us to be able to have something for the world to see. They'll come to know Christ just through looking at our lives. And it's like, wow, I, I want what you have. You know, tell me how you got there. And of course, you know, it's not about man uh, uh, trying to take the credit, but giving the credit to God. God did this and you That's too right. can do this. Right. And so to God be the glory. So <laughs> and, and, and the thing I love about this is about wisdom. Yeah. 
And that's what we need more than anything today. We need wisdom. We don't need to try to go by our own strengths. We don't need to try to go by our own understanding. The things we've always done have not worked. It's time to attain wisdom. Mm. Wisdom is worth is what wealth follows. Mm. And God's dropping keys right now for wisdom. In the book of Proverbs it says, get good counsel before you make war. You're building a team, a powerhouse team of counsel. You're getting information that you will not be able to get on your own. It will take you years to get through trial and error. You can obtain that type of revelation and understanding and insight into this industry. Why wait? Yeah, reading book after book and still nothing yeah. is clicking. <laughs> you have not taken a move yet. You have not taken a move yet. You know, you've gone around the mountain too long now. I'm telling you, turn north. And so we love you guys. Have yourself a blessed Sunday. Blama, thank you so much. Again, to Dr. Jewel, thank you. Auntie, thank you to the entire team. Uh, those of you that are already a part of the team, I'm just so excited about, about what God has positioned us. It really is a positioning, Blama, for something yeah. great. History's yes. in the making. And guess what? We're part of it. And so I love you much. God bless you. Thank you so much for being on here and have an amazing, blessed, holy week a passion week, whatever you want to call it. But I'm telling you guys, just know that he didn't go to the cross for us to stay the same. He went to the cross. Come on here, somebody, so that we can live in the abundance and in the fullness of all that he has for us. And wealth and riches belongs to you. It belongs to me. Come on here, somebody. Wealth and riches are in your house. Come on now. Your sure. house, and I'm telling you, right. Deuteronomy 8, 18, he gives us the power, the ability to mm. get wealth. So wealth belongs okay. to you. So call yourself wealthy right now. Living yes. on, Come on now, calling in those million, $10 million, yes. higher, $20 million, whatever, call it in. God has called you and there's been millions assigned to you. And when that million is transferred and those millions are transferred into your hands, billions or trillions, as Suzanne would say, guess what? Heaven has not gone broke. So understand the economy of the kingdom, guys. I love you much. God bless you. Stay tuned. Share this feed and we'll be in yes. touch. God bless you. Bye.